I make fire. It's a, it's a good sized bone. Hello strangers. <laughs> been a while, been a few weeks, isn't it? Probably a couple of months actually. Um, right, my excuses. Yeah, so uh, I've been uh, been all over the place. Went on holiday. Uh, that was a, a week or so. I also did the uh, the Wainwrights Coast to Coast, or the uh, uh, I don't know what else it's called. I think it's just called the Coast to Coast by by a lot of people. But it was originally um, put together by uh, Wainwright. So uh, I did that for charity. That was 191 miles. Uh, yeah, I'd aimed to do it. Uh, in nine days because I was doing it for charity so uh, did it trying to do it in a push and managed to get it done in six so uh, yeah pretty impressed with that but uh, with family holidays and all kinds of things I just haven't got around to posting things to be honest which is very slack um, I have got a few saved up um, where I've been out and I've recorded but just haven't got around to editing so uh, it may be a, a sort of stream of a few coming out quite quickly but um, I'm out today, I've got a little bit of time uh, away, kids and everybody's busy, so uh, I've decided to come out. So I've come to a new area, a beautiful day actually, it's really sunny, sun's out. Um, yes, I'm looking forward to this one actually. So uh, I'm going to have a little bit of an explore and sort of see what I can find. It is um, good mushroom season at the moment as well. So I'm going to have a little look around and see what uh, or if any mushrooms I can find. But uh, yeah, come along with me and uh, we'll see what we can find. I'm out for a camp, so I'm going to set my hammock up somewhere. Just been wandering around looking for a spot. Let's see what I can find. It's all uh, it's all pretty samey at the moment. I haven't had any luck with the old mushroom finding either. There's uh, been a few I'm fairly new to it I don't know a huge amount so what I tend to do is is every time I come out I try and find one that I'm sure about or at least find one that I don't but you know recognize a little bit like a belete or recognize the species or something like that and then I'll take it home and uh, and look at it at home and just research it and just understand you know that species or uh, whatever but there's been some tiny really unusual nondescript ones so uh, I've just kind of left them so I'm going to keep wandering around and see what else I can find but it's uh this woodland's really thick you can see it behind me I'll get out of the frame it's all like this it's really dense and uh, there's not a huge amount of light that gets through either as you can see so uh, I'm going to keep wandering around Well, the weird things that you find in the woods gets your mind going, doesn't it? So, uh, just found this down here. It's a, it's a good sized bone. It immediately made me start looking around. It's a arm size, possibly, or or leg size <laughs> I have uh, I have no idea what that is got lots of gnaw marks on it that's for sure I'm just gonna leave it there I think hey everyone I just wanted to quickly jump in at this point in a moment you're gonna see some mushrooms on uh, the screen and what you would have heard is me waffling on about what I believe is now I'm more than likely wrong probably 99%. Um, I'm a complete beginner when it comes to uh, mushroom identification, so I just wanted to cover it over and uh, explain that to you, really. Um, if you ever see me um, ID a mushroom, please don't take that as correct. Go away and do your own research. Don't ever eat anything that you're not yourself 100% sure um, what it is. What I'll tend to do is, is pick one or two mushrooms while I'm out in the field. I'll ID them from books myself, and then I'll use a face Facebook um, mushroom identification forum just to confirm that so please don't listen to anything I ever say I'm a complete beginner and I have no idea I'm probably talking absolute keck thanks for watching look what I found puffballs I 
There's a whole bunch of them here. So, I believe this is a polypore, which is a elite. This one's well past it. But you see the pores and sort of gills on the underside. It's well past it. But there's one there's probably oh, there there's another one. This one's been well eaten as well. Oh no, this is different. That is different. I've um I've been out for quite a while now, it's half past five. I haven't really found anything. I uh, found a couple of belites up there, but they were definitely gone. I've, I've just found these two, and that's about it, really. So, uh, I've not really found a camping spot either at the moment, so I'm going to keep having a bit of a wander, and uh, I'm sure I'll find something before long. Right, well, I've been walking for uh, a few hours now. I think it's about three hours. Um, I found a bunch of rotten mushrooms, basically, <laughs> at the moment. Nothing really of much interest or anything I can take, that's for sure. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier, I usually uh, try and find one. You know, maybe there's a few of that sort of species around or type around, and then I'll uh, sort of take one home, cross-reference it in sort of two or three books. And uh, just so I can feel confident in my uh, my uh, uh, identification, I think I might be quite fussy when it comes to camp spots. Oh, it's a bit bright. So uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I think what I'm going to do is head back to that kind of spot that I know. Anyway, so I'm going to head out there now. It's probably uh, a good 15, maybe even 20 minute walk. So I'll wander up there and I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when I get there. I'll show you my little spot. I've been there before. I've taken my son there before actually. So uh, I know it's, uh, it's good. It's got a nice little view. So uh, let's go. seen this a million times before but it's the first time I've done it well it's not the first time I've done it so I've made a little tinder bundle this is just some dry bracken so if I usually put a few little um, twigs in there as well the really thin pencil lead tw twigs because um, I just find that when the bracken gets going sometimes it can burn so vigorously it just burns out quickly so uh, I've got two options I've either got here some charcoal off um, I can do it with or just here, I've got King Alfred's cake. King Alfred's cake. I'm not even sure. I'm not sure whether that's the right name. I think no, it's Prince Albert, isn't it? Yeah, I thought I got mixed up with a Prince Albert. So uh, anyway, so uh, what I'm going to do is ferro rod onto the. Cake is the plan. Here we go. Going already. You can see that. Blowing the wind a bit. There it goes. Look at that. He's off. Put the old knife calls away. Don't want to pull a Joe Robin out. Ah, right, now that's going. nice and hot so now I can just put it in here I've got loads of time don't have to rush or anything put it in the middle get it in there close it up so I'm going to close the bundle on it
you see it's starting to smoke a little bit. It's a good sign. Let's see if I can adjust you up slightly. Just need to close it in a little bit more. She's starting to smoke now. We have flame. I make fire. That's all right. Just let that catch the wind and it will go by itself once it gets going. There we go. behind yeah I've got uh, got some fillet steak tonight and um, uh, some sweet potato and some onion and garlic and stuff um, yeah just gonna stick it all in my frying pan in, in a little bit I've got the fillet steaks just warming next to the fire there at the moment I'll get them on in a minute but not brought a light with me so I'm not even sure whether I can show you <laughs> so uh, uh, which I know people like but um, yeah quite a few out there isn't it? Get it. Dink. yeah you have to see had my steaks just warming on the rock back here so I'm gonna just transfer these now into here Himalayan salt. Right then, the piece de resistance, as they say. The steak is still pink on the inside. It has been warming next to the fire for a long time, and that is juicy. It's very soft. Oh, that is incredible. It's um. It's uh, organic beef as well. Mm. Get rid of the leaf. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet potato goodness. Right. I'm going to enjoy this. And I'll come back to you. A bit later. Mm. Yum, yum. Right then, it's uh, I think it's about half past ten. 
I'm going to hit the hay. Night night. Or morning. Or good afternoon. Or whatever it is for you guys. <laughs>